Hey, I'm Smirk here, and during the semi-finals of the Blast Premier Spring 2023 final, Heroic was up against Imperial on the CT side of Inferno, and on this, they showed a really nice take I want to share with you. This take is going to be really simple, claustrophobic, and fast, making it difficult for that T side to respond. But want to get individual training and CS classes for 30 days for 50 cents on your first month? Affirmative. Well, thanks to today's sponsor, Gosu Academy, you can. Yes, my friends, yes! Gosu Academy is the CS school where you can join frequent classes hosted by various pro players and coaches. In these classes, you can submit demos in the Discord to be reviewed and critiqued by the coaches, or join them in theory sessions on a map. And I will also be hosting some of these sessions myself. <laughs> On top of this, they host weekly scrims where you can jump into a 5v5 with coaches on both teams, helping you during and after the game. Our enemies tremble. This entire course is $29 per month, but again, you can try the course for pretty much free for 30 days by using the code SMOKY at checkout, which equates to 12 classes. Now go on and rank up. At the start of the round, we're going to see Cajun be that third man, and he's going to act as a support player, throwing two flashes to allow his banana players to run down. Meanwhile, we have Yabby and Tessas throwing smokes, molotovs, and grenades into banana. But it is worth noting Yabby's molotov is supposed to land here, but it unfortunately goes a bit too far, landing in the smoke. Meanwhile, Tessa just runs straight down and kills the blind tees, getting banana control. Caden at the start of the round will do the fallen flashes. These are really simple to do, but to do it, aim at the top left corner and left click throw. Then he will combine this with a second flash, which he shifts and left click throws. The second flash will land a lot deeper, trying to affect players inside of Broom. Tessus will be the first B player. In this, he's going to smoke D banana by using this lineup. Then he'll combine it with a HE. And this is a pretty solid HE, as it will land right in the middle, dealing out high damage to any players trying to peek out. After his util, he's gonna get flashed in, quickly play anti flash, and run straight in, killing the first player in bolts, and then later peeking out and killing Vinny, who was partially blind. At this point, he can respawn banana from the corpse of bolts, and then he will later fall back to car, jump peeking banana and allowing his B players to rotate to A to play that 4-1 strong setup. Our second B player will be Yabby. Yabby's gonna aim at this wall and crouch and left click throw. Unfortunately, his Molotov does go a bit too far, but if it did, it will make it really difficult for Imperial to counter the push. However, there is a point where Yabby does stop, and this is up to you. I feel like Yabby could have joined Tessa's pushing that banana, and if the Molotov was an issue, you can always use your smoke to put it out. But it looks like Yabby's intention in this round is to peek behind car, going for those long range fights. Once they gain banana control, he's just gonna press around by spamming, nading, etc. Eventually leaving Tessa's by himself. If we look at Imperial's POV, we can see Bolts is gonna be the first player, we can see he's gonna get blinded, and where Bolts is peeking right now, if the molly landed, he would be taking a lot of damage. Meanwhile, Vinny is just full blind, and as he recovers, he dies from Tessus. 